What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. Since I'm about Scream 6 in this video here again today, we're going to be talking about Gail Weathers and how she should or will or could factor into the narrative for the upcoming Scream 6. And we'll also be talking about a response Heather Matarazzo recently gave to a fan over on Twitter when she advised you to just ask her anything and she basically spilled some beans in regards to uh, Chad and Mindy in regards to their father. So... With Gail Weathers first, Courtney Cox, we know that she has stated she has received the script. She hasn't read it yet. Now, she could have started reading it because I don't I again don't know when that was actually recorded. I just know the podcast came out uh, the day before last or yesterday even. So with that knowledge of that fact that she got the script, that means that there's some type of Gail Weathers involvement that's going on in the upcoming sixth movie. So she could be factored in a plethora of different ways i know i've talked about like sam and tara's mother christina coming onto her show and being the opening kill that way her morning show in some capacity i feel like should be factored in much more in a, in a bigger a bigger way this time around and maybe that could be a setting for a ghost face attack maybe, maybe that could be a setting for the finale even um uh, just get the gale weathers morning show set <laughs> acting as the finale for the for the final encounter between Ghostface and the survivors that are making up those survivors at the end of the movie that we have coming or Gail Weathers could just be used in a way that's more along the lines of how we saw her in the first two movies where she's not more so being overly bitchy but that bitch side of her is coming out more so she could even have some friction going on between herself and Tara and Sam because of how she has used their mother christina and how christina has been so willing to go on the air talking about her her time with billy and talk about her daughter sam and tara and how that's kind of just brought negative negative publicity onto sam and you know tara is in a way being affected by that as well but christina could have had a change of heart over the course of the last 25 years because again like i stated before during the time when she, which she was initially with the child she didn't come out and say hey you know i have i have billy loomis's child and for obvious reasons but now that is basically out there and she's seen all the positive things that are available to her because of this knowledge that she 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 was the parent to the child of a mass murderer she sees this as an outlet to you know put herself out there get some attention you know do some other type of stuff involved with that type of connection she has to billy loomis for her own gain and you know that's fine for her but sam and tara would rather not have anything to do with that so with gail being so willing to also feed into that and also bring it out of christina that could be causing some friction at home between the girls and their mother and also causing friction between themselves and gail because at this point, we could say that Sam and Tara do live together and they have moved to a different location. Tara is currently in college. They could they could also still be living with their mother. All three of them could be living together, but Tara is just in college. And, you know, there's just friction because of how Gail has been handling Christina and the whole Billy Loomis connection that's shared between them. So Gail could be involved in that capacity. She could have written a do that book about Dewey like she said she wanted to. It could be a number one bestseller in in the area in which she is residing with her morning show anyway so that's there's a few things she could be doing she could end up dying too that's also a possibility I just want to talk about that really quick if gail werther's were to die i think the way you should do that would be involving yet another iconic chase sequence that we can go back and talk about just like how a lot of people still go on about the chase sequence that she has in screen two something that has you on the edge of your seat something that's suspenseful and then what i would love and i think would be so good if they actually were to pull the pull the trigger on killing another legacy character i don't think gail should die but if they were to if you kill her there should be some type of snarky remark that comes from her <laughs> before she dies that's just that just feels so fitting for her something snarky or bitchy should come out of her mouth Ghostface should then end her right then and there. You know, that would be how I send Gail off. Give her a worthy chase sequence that many would say rivals what we got in Scream 2. Uh, still, all in all, I wouldn't kill Sydney or Gail going into Scream 6 or potential Scream 7. If anything, I would just sideline them. Don't kill them. But if you are going to kill one more, it would have to be Gail, of course. Uh, and I know there will be those section of fans who think, well, oh, they shouldn't kill them. And if they kill them, it'll just be trash. And, you know, it's uh, context is very important there. 
that's one thing I can say. Context is very important. In the context of how Dewey died and why he died, I feel like that's being ignored for, you know, I didn't want him to die. Well, you need to understand why he died and why it made the most sense given the narrative structure that they presented to us in Screen 5. Because Sydney already being in Woodsboro would have been a would have been a major criticism from me. And I, I'm just being honest. That would have been a major criticism for me because it just seems out of character for her to still be in this town that's caused her so much trauma and is a source of the trauma. So getting her back to Woodsboro at this point would need to require a dismissal or removal of someone that she cares about. In this case, it was Dewey because Gail was not someone that she cared about that much compared to Dewey. And at the time, she still was under the impression that Dewey was the sheriff. So, you know, the context of either one of these legacy characters dying, it's all about the how and why, and does it add anything to the narrative? That's why Dewey's death is not as bad as many people want to want to think. I'm just talking about that certain section of people who are closed-minded about it. But going on to the Heather Matarazzo thing, she put out a tweet replying to someone who asked if she knew the identity of Chad and Mindy's father. She said, yes, she does. So does this mean that she knew this prior to what we have right now with Scream 5? Or does she know this because she has also received a script for Scream 6 and this means that she's factored in somehow into the narrative and not only will she be back, but so will their father. So this could also mean if that's the case, there might be a lot of things going on with parents and familial ties for this movie once again related to the new supporting characters that we have because it is important to remember that the name of the movie is Blackmore um and I know in the past one of the writers did come out and say that Blackmore was used as a way to conceal something with Billy in relation to this into this latest film that we got so now that it's just titled simply Blackmore does that also have something to do with other Loomis stuff that will happen will it have something to do with the other supporting cast members that are connected to legacy characters such as the fact that maybe we get to meet Chad and Mindy's father a lot of you think it's Joel I do think that would be a nice clever twist if it is Joel uh Joel and what is the age gap between Joel and and Randy's sister Martha I don't know but of course she 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 would be of age per the narrative I just don't really know what the age gap was between them but if he's the father then that's cool it could be some other random person of color though but we'll see how that goes and how that factors in but what do you guys think about my ideas for Gail Weathers what do you think about Heather Matarazzo talking about the identity of Chad and Minnie's father let me know all that down in the comment section below if you haven't subscribed turn on post notification and miss a video in the description I have links to my social media accounts on Facebook Twitter and Instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys I will See you in the next video.